flying bullets, a cracked windshield, and one thankful Shelby County School Board member. Good evening, I'm Katina Rankin. My co-anchor Richard is off. Last night, some of you more than likely heard gunshots ringing in the new year. And one of those bullets came a little too close for comfort for SCS board member Michelle McKissick and her husband. A stray bullet hit their car. Local 24 News weekend anchor Annette Pegler joins me in the studio now. And Annette, were they in the car at the time? Well, Katina, thankfully, Michelle and her husband were not inside of that car when the bullet hit their windshield, but they were feet away from getting in. And the entire incident was recorded on her mother's Nest surveillance camera. That was a stray bullet hitting the windshield of Shelby County School Board member Michelle McKissick's SUV around 7.30 Tuesday night. She and her husband were leaving her mother's house on South Main after picking up pizzas. I immediately ducked because it, it, it sounded like a gunshot and I didn't know where it came from and I peeped up to, you know, to check on where was my husband and I saw smoke coming off my windshield. The bullet nearly hit her husband's face. And it punctured the outer glass, but then there's like an inner glass apparently, and it pierced it and then it bounced and about a foot, 18 inches from where he was standing is where the bullet landed. Memphis police arrived on scene immediately after it happened. Officers told McKissick the bullet likely came from celebratory shooting for New Year's Eve. It's not fireworks. These are real life bullets that can have serious consequences and thankfully it was just a car windshield. Tuesday before the New Year's Eve festivities, Shelby County Sheriff's Department issued a safety reminder to not shoot weapons into the air as celebratory expressions because what comes up must come down. A friend of mine who lives in Houston reached out to me and said, I'm so glad you're okay because because a nurse was killed in Houston last night from a stray bullet falling from the sky that someone was celebrating. And McKissick says her husband hesitated walking to the car when the bullet hit that windshield. She says had he not done that, there's no telling what would have happened. Live in the studio, Annette Pegler, Local 24 News.